Well, here I am again, May 4, 2019, the second flooding tornado damage video. As well, I will show you what has been taking place in other countries. I want to read some comments. Isn't it strange that as soon as they started really pushing uh, the global warming bullshit within like the last three years, suddenly our whole planet has gone haywire. We never have just a simple storm system anymore. Everything is at the extreme, or it's unprecedented, or it's at a historic level. If anyone believes that it's all just a coincidence, I'd like to buy you a one-way trip to Mars. Would you just buy me a one-way trip to Mars? Just for the hell of it, because I sure would love to get off this planet. No, it's not a coincidence. And I've said this in other videos. I did a video on Kafka Winston World, posted on Kafka Winston World years ago. I cannot find the document, but it was in one of those um, like Vision 2020, the full spectrum dominance document that had all of these chapters. And they were talking about how uh, essentially it was how do we manipulate the world's people into accepting weather modification. You cause a lot of extreme events and people will fall to their knees and beg for anything so that this destruction stops. So don't be surprised you know, if they suddenly come out and say, hey, now we can control hurricanes. Hey, now we can control tornadoes. Hey, now we can control the weather. As if we didn't know. All right, well, unfortunately, most of the world's people are just refusing to uh, do any research to find out that, uh, well, we're not crazy. It's the weather modifiers that are crazy bringing all of this about. The entire town of Buffalo, Iowa, is under five feet of water. Another broken levee. Yes, levees are just breaking all over the place and more cresting expected homes are all lost unbelievable I want to scream <laughs> yeah I sure do as well um, Grand Forks flooding 2019 Grand Forks in Oslo North Dakota flooding here in Austin Texas last night we had one of the most powerful rainstorms that I can remember lightning seemed like science fiction weapons with each strike shaking the seven-story building I live in severely, the rain was over seven inches in one hour, and the highway and access to road in front of the building looked like rivers. I could barely see across the highway to the office building. Yes, there's definitely something going on with our weather that's not normal, but if I talk to anyone in the building about these things, they all claim I'm crazy. All right, well, it, you know, look, the fact is, is that to get up to speed on what is really taking place in the world, uh, it takes an awful long time, and they are bringing on the destruction now uh, with a rapidity that is just overwhelming, head spinning, and and hard to really put it all together. But I keep trying. I do want to once again bring your attention to a playlist that I started last year all of the flooding that was taking place because it was well the flooding that we're seeing now has been non-stop so if you take a look at 89 videos US flooding is the name of the playlist I have on my channel and most of these are compilations that I put together severe flooding continues uh, flooding in Tennessee, rain blamed for collapsing roof, flooding theater, Clinton flooding, um, but those aren't my compilations. Um, I mean, it, you know, the flooding in uh, Maryland, can't remember the name of the city, tremendous destruction that has been taking place in a rather short period of time all over 
the country, just flooding. And look at all of it. Okay, so what you are seeing now, it has been ongoing. You know, when you see somebody post a video and, oh, it's on the flooding that's occurring in Texas right now. What else is happening right now? Flooding in Missouri, flooding in Illinois, flooding in Nebraska, flooding in Iowa, flooding in Michigan, flooding in South Dakota, flooding in North Dakota, and flooding, flooding, and a whole lot of these areas get repeat hits. So when you see this kind of massive flooding, unprecedented, historic, happening over and over and over again, yeah, you would sure hope that, if not all, certainly the majority of the adults in your country would begin to look into it. All right, I will also link below to my playlist, Weather Modification Harp, 215 videos. I have to... I have to do this because there's so many people who are just simply denying it. There are people who are writing in capital letters, you know, angry at me for saying man is creating this when God is creating this. God is in control of the weather. Well, God then is uh, pretty sadistic, don't you think? Uh, it's not the God I want to believe exists. Okay, so whole lot just on my playlist, but a whole lot on YouTube that shows you man is controlling the weather. Came across this video, Tornado Destroys Halt, Alabama. And I want to thank John for posting it because what he is seeing is what I saw in Great Barrington in 2011 and 2012. Suddenly, huge amounts of what seemed like steam or fog coming off the river, like that, like out of nowhere. And doing the research, well, I also posted videos on how they can pull from little uh, bodies of water with electromagnetic frequencies, uh, steam, humidity, pull it right up and create a cloud. Coming up out of the valleys. As if sucking the water out of Hurricane Creek, out of the creek. Well, that's actually what they can do with these electromagnetic frequencies. This is spooky. All that fog's coming up off the creek. Heading right into the storm. I've never seen anything like this. Lived on this creek a long time. Yep, <clears throat> the many methods that they have to create clouds, to create weather. St. Charles County town, St. Louis, St. Charles County, could become an island by Sunday. St. Charles is where my childhood friend lives. Okay, Houston, Texas. Oh my god! Oh my god! I cannot, oh my god! Oh my god! Did you see that? See 
have you set for you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Now, when you watch news broadcasts and you see all of these trees that are covered with fungal disease, you know how weak the trees are. Their immune systems, they're sick and they easily fall now. But when you see these huge trees that just topple over, check out the roots. It's hard to see right here, but they almost have no roots. That's what our geoengineering is doing to our trees. Why did this happen again? That phrase being said all across Dearborn Heights tonight as so many lives have been turned upside down by flooding for the second time now in five years. Sean Lay has been reporting on the flooding since it started. He's in Dearborn Heights again this evening and they all want some answers, Sean. Answers and some help now coming in small ways. Red Cross, they're here volunteering at the Young Center here in Dearborn Heights, giving away cleaning supplies already. Oh, wow, cleaning supplies. Well, I want you to uh, hear one particular resident of this area, what he has to say. You don't have to apologize for anything. We're here for you. Whatever. While people like Doug are now ready to leave. But after that, I, th I think the house goes up for sale and we move out of Michigan altogether. Success. They want people moving out of these areas. More on this EF1 tornado that was now confirmed in West Little Rock. And yep. Arkansas. And listen to this meteorologist. Now, these, I've said this before, I don't believe that much of what they're claiming is a tornado is a tornado. Yes, they can create very destructive winds. Oh, those electromagnetic frequencies are really, uh, they could have been used for good, but they are being used for destruction. But listen to this guy. Try, you know, we used to know what a tornado was. Now we can't figure out anything. Yesterday we were thinking that tornado was primarily straight line winds, but the National Weather Service meteorologist went down today in that region, acted like detectives, looked at the clues of what the storm left behind, and here's what they found. Strong winds slammed parts of southwest Little Rock Thursday afternoon. It had to be, yep. National Weather Service meteorologist went to survey the damage Friday. So. Combing through the topple trees and debris, searching for clues on what struck yeah, the area. Gonna... Looks like something probably started maybe in the trees back there and then came. No matter how small the evidence, even a leaf can be important. Something like this embedded up into a tree trunk is, it's not natural. Quickly, the answer was revealed in Martin Cemetery. The trees over there are pointing this general direction. This tree is pointing in that general direction. Winds using straight line winds versus tornado. So you'd actually see the damage spread out like uh, if you imagine throwing a water balloon on the ground what that does to the grass it spreads the grass out in all locations and so a tornado does damage in two ways it's violent rotation and then violent updraft at the same time so that tends to bring everything in towards a common uh, common line. After Dennis Cavanaugh chooses what hit the next question is how strong was the tornado? We have okay this is a huge tree where are the roots? What you'll see, these trees that are toppling over, you see very thin roots, but you see mostly dirt. Geoengineering, the chemicals, the heavy metals, they're destroying the root systems of our trees. But, okay, well, all right, let's look at this. Let's take a picture. Let's, uh, oh, in, in one broadcast, it was a tornado because they showed a tree that actually looked somewhat healthy, the, the tree inside, because it was snapped in half. Okay, it's a tornado. We've always known what a tornado was. Now, well now, we can't friggin' assess anything. Austin, Texas.
Well, an hour later. Storm's here. Whoa. That's crazy. That's our lightning today? Really? Okay. I have shown you the next rad, the Doppler radar stations shooting off extremely powerful frequencies during this storm. And look at the flooding in Austin. Okay, I have said this before, but, you know, these, um, we've seen areas of this country, and I have it on some video on my playlist, where the water was coming up from the sewer, but shooting up like five feet, flooding the entire neighborhood, and, yeah. Is this just because of the rain and, oh, well, that sewer uh, is now all clogged up, that it's shooting the water back up? No, I think that they actually are releasing waters to create more and more flooding. Davenport, residents using boats, Davenport, Iowa. As the Mississippi River surpasses its historic 1993 crest in Davenport, people near the Quad Cities are struggling to simply stay afloat today. Kelly Bowles introduces us to a family who has uh, now turned to a boat just to get from point A to point B. That's somebody's deck. It's been more than 40 days since Meredith Dennis has seen... Not four days. Forty. Four, zero, forty days. I land around her home. Our house is pretty much underwater at this point. While this isn't their first flood, it's unlike anything they've seen before. We choose to live there, but we don't choose to have record flooding and to not really have a lot of means to kind of take care of that while we wait. For weeks, they've made it work, adding a boat ride home to their daily routine. We have been fortunate that we do have the means to boat in and out, so until it got to a point where it just wasn't safe anymore, where we couldn't wade through anymore, we were able to boat. But like many others, rising waters have now forced the Dennis family out of their home entirely. I actually just talked to a neighbor who is stuck He's two inches from going underwater. I have another neighbor who has lived down there through all of these floods, and she is out and has been for a while. <laughs> Living on takeout in a hotel room will add up. Obviously, financially, it's going to take a toll. You know, we have insurance, but flood insurance only covers structure. Which is why they say the best way to help quickly is cash. I think money probably is the biggest thing that anybody who's hurting needs, any of the businesses, any of the residents because that's really what, in the long run, is going to make the difference. For now, they hope the water comes down soon before... Okay. 40 days. Uh, uh, you know, I, ju I, I don't... It's so hard for me to comprehend that we just can't get through to people that this is being done deliberately, that they won't even consider what we have to say. It's, it's kind of, well, I've said it before, I'll be, I'll live shell-shocked to, to the fat lady sings. All of the heavy rain we experience caused flash floods across central Arkansas today. And in North Little Rock, Newton Creek will rise quickly during storms, but People who live there say today was unlike many that they've ever experienced before. And that's where we find Rebecca Jeffrey live. Rebecca? 
Hey, good evening, Kevin and Donna. Yeah, the creek here, fortunately, has already receded, but the water is moving quickly, and the debris and damage that we still see on this bridge is evidence of some of the scary moments that happened earlier today. Flash flooding drowned out parts of North Little Rock Thursday, where there's normally grass, instead sits inches of standing water. This was the worst that I've seen it. Barbie Garza lives near MacArthur Drive in Delmont. She was at work when the storm arrived. I have a boat that is right next to the creek, and so I ran home to see if I needed to move the boat or what was happening. She's one of the lucky ones who did not have standing water in her yard, but like many others we saw, she had to wade through some to get home. I had to park at the end of the street and walk down here, and it was... The road was pretty much flooded almost to um, above my ankles. Whether it was people or property, dozens in this area were searching for higher and drier land. Oh boy, Arkansas. And well, remember just a month ago in Houston? Down there next to the vehicle with the trunk open. Exactly. And unwelcome back to North Texas for some travelers who returned to find their cars underwater. This is a parking garage at Dallas Love Field. Hours of heavy rain stranded cars, flooding roads, parking lots, and even golf courses. Thank you for joining. Okay, um, this is happening repeatedly. And I have to tell you, uh, this is what is really shocking because we've never seen this kind of quote unquote rain, okay? A car submerged in a parking lot? What? Man. Kingwood, Texas. familiar with this location. I want you to take a look at this. This is just a little glimpse of how powerful that storm was earlier this afternoon. Just snapped this tree in half like a twig and a lot of people had to deal with a lot of damage today because of the storms that happened earlier. Friday afternoon right before rush hour, this was the storm people either drove through or witnessed from their front door in Kingwood. I was crazy. I mean, at one point, the wind was blowing the rain so hard, I couldn't even see my neighbor's house across the street. It was, it was crazy. The burst of heavy rain caused flooding across major roadways like Kingwood Drive, North Park Drive, Lake Houston Parkway, and in neighborhoods like Tina Barber's. And I looked out the front door, and it was way up over my curb, you know, covering the bottom of my mailbox almost. and. I mean, we didn't even flood during Harvey. Stalled cars littered the streets and parking lots. This was some of the debris left behind in the parking lot of HEB once the water receded. Some of the drains were even blocked by leaves. I just saw my car just out there, and then I couldn't see it no more because the rain was crazy. Oscar Galvin Jr. is a bartender at Torchies and was working when the storm rolled through. The rain flooded the parking lot, and the car he just paid off took in a good amount of water. I mean, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But it's okay. It's just a car. The powerful storm also caused a power outage for more than an hour. The wind snapped trees like this one near Pollo Loco. I know, isn't that crazy? It just snapped. A different tree on Kingwood Drive fell on a woman's car as she was driving home. Fortunately, she was able to walk away. That was her exact word. She couldn't hardly see. Sped up just a little bit to hurry up and get in this parking lot. And the tree smacked her right before she could even get in the, in the parking lot. And another woman died driving and she hit a tree in Kingwood, Texas. Um, we also had tornadoes, four in Arkansas and this one in Houston. may have hit that area. And check this out closer to home. This is in North Harris County. Drivers have been having trouble getting around high water. And here's a look at some of the cars we saw stuck in floodwaters. This is up in Tombaugh. That's a pickup truck going nowhere. Hate to see that. Not a good situation for the folks in Tombaugh. More high water as we jump up from Air 11. This is near Kingwood right now, an area definitely that needs a break from severe weather. 
Fortunately, we're glad to say things are starting to calm down just a bit. Yeah, we need the break after tracking so many tornado warnings all afternoon oh. long. And even though it's calmer now, David, don't get too comfortable, right? We've got another round coming in overnight in the wee hours of tomorrow morning. So, yeah, don't get comfortable. Make sure you've got the app so if we get any more warnings tonight and tomorrow. You know, oh, I... I post these, you know, and you always have in mind, well, I do, I always have in mind those who really don't know what's going on, that they may come across this video to show them that this kind of flooding we never experienced before except once every 50 years or 100 years. Now we're experiencing this all the time and it's happening in many many areas you have a rainstorm now suddenly you've got power outages you've got trees down and you've got flooded streets and flooded parking garages flooded cars all right what's going on well many will claim it's climate change it's global warming Oh, well, that means they win these sick weather terrorists and they will continue to cause an awful lot of destruction. So I'm going to end this video now and then I'm going to post another video on other areas where, well, like a lot of Americans, they're not getting any aid as well. All links are below.